Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with a new video on Counter Side, and once again, I will be doing a weekly progression, going over what I've done so far, what is my progress so far, what am I trying to do, what am I farming, and all that stuff, as well as talking about the reset for the PvP shop stuff. So I'm gonna take over, take a look at that, and start buying items that will make us get the um, classified employment contract. I also tell you ways to get the classified contracts um, by just logging it into the game because this is the start of a new month so there was a brand new um, monthly checking stuff and within those checking stuff you can actually get some classified materials which is something you would actually be able to use to get your awakened characters anyways before I do that guys don't forget to like the video subscribe stay tuned for more content on counter side let's get to 5k subscribers at 5k subscribers I will be doing a giveaway so definitely stay tuned for that now first of all let's go over to the shop because this is something I actually want to talk about so if you go over to the seasonal stuff um, so far actually let's go to the event stuff as you can see I have gone ahead and bought a lot of these resources over here now a lot of people did buy this I'm not buying that <laughs> I don't I don't need a frame uh, so what I'm gonna do now with the remaining 1000 I'm gonna go over to this side and buy some credits now just because you completed the event stuff doesn't mean you don't need to uh, carry on farming you carry on getting more credits than you would ever have by farming the other stages because when you farm the stage you get about 47 or like 50 but then you also get some um, this material over here which you go, can go over to the shop and buy a lot of credits so it makes sense to go over to this um, event shop and just use all your exchange materials to get the credits so farming the event stage is actually worthwhile so this is what people mean when they say farming the event is very very good because you just get a lot of gold um over here so very very nice bought all of these items and um, i'm very impressed so we're gonna go over to godlet as you can see it's refreshed so for 30 days 30 days is all we need to get all the way to this side and start uh, getting the classified employment contract now from what i've seen from the calculation you're going to need about 17k of the pvp points right now i have 6k now i'm not really sure if it's 17k because that sounds a little bit low in my opinion but let's go ahead and start buying all of these items with the currency we have now um we're gonna go with actually i want to buy everything for the first one so let's see can we do that all right now oh that's a lot wait 30 damn I mean, I do like the stuff. I haven't ever used them. Even though I have some tier 5 gear, I haven't used any of these materials to make them better. So over here, we bought that. We go over to this. We can only buy three. That's fine. Go over to this, buy that. I wonder if we're going to be able to clear off the entire store today. Oh, come on. Okay, that's it, I think. Good. Go over to here. So 16K, you need over 16K. And you should have enough um, points to get that within the time slot which is very very good so completed the first one go over to the second one how many do i have 4k left that is nice that is nice let's go and buy some of this atp core because i actually do need them right now um go over to that one as well buy some um stam not stamina some skills books and this as well just to get some more materials for the ships and then go over to here and buy some more soldier atp core oh, okay we're about to run out and yeah, within the rest of the time given to us, I should be able to get all the way to here and buy the classified employment contract and wait patiently for the first um, for the first awakened character. Now, if you guys are wondering which is which character is going to be the first awakened unit to come into the game, if we are following the same timeline from the KR as well as the Taiwanese, the first awakened character will be Ed Ild. Now, she's actually a very very good character, and I would actually recommend you guys to summon. However, from what I've seen in the future, you will be able to get ELD and another one of those Awakened characters for free. I believe in the first year anniversary for the KR version, they did give out like a selection where you could get um, the Awakened ELD or you could get to Awakened, um, I've forgotten the second character, but yeah. So right now, if you guys are wondering whether you want to get ELD when she does come to the game, I guess you can, but in the future, she might become free to get for many people. I mean, you could go for the other option if you have ELD, so I guess you can go ahead and summon. Now, ELD is a very, very good tank. She is amazing. She taunts. She does throwback. 
Um, what else does she do? She has like shield defense stuff. So she's amazing for a tank. Um, definitely a character I would definitely recommend you guys to summon on. Now, I will make a video in the future going over which characters I personally will be summoning for. It's not like a guide for you guys. It's what I personally have taken a look at and which characters I will summon for. I will do one for Awakening characters and I'll also do one for the normal SSR characters. Anyways, let's go over to our management to take a look at my characters so far. So level 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six characters at level 100. I could get some of my other characters level 100 as well. As you can see, I did get my Evelyn to six stars recently. Oh, wait, five stars, sorry. Uh, now I can get her all the way to level 100. Now, with the additional ATP code I got. I guess I can work on one more character. I also got my IMA um, leveled up as well because with um, me trying to get all the way to silver, I am very close to getting to silver in PvP. I will need to switch out um, Zhao Lin because she already has two bands and, she, and she's practically useless in PvP now. So Hayami is the second character I would actually recommend you guys to use for your sniper chick. Um, so yeah, she's actually very, very good. So I'm going to work on her in the future. I have got most of my characters implanted um, all the way to like 100%. So now all I need to focus now is skills. Now, I know a lot of people are saying that the PvP is relatively hard. I do agree because you don't actually know why you lost sometimes. Sometimes you're wondering, why did I lose? I had like higher power. I had like um, higher HP, higher levels. I think the main reason why you would actually lose in PvP is due to your skill levels for your character. In my opinion, I think having a higher skill level is more uh, important than having a level 100 character. So I think a level 80 uh, Friar or Reyes, Ryan, sorry, um, with full level 5 um, skills could actually be better than a level 100 Raya with only like level 2 skills. So yes, having your characters at um, level 5 for the skills is going to be a massive boost to them. So if you guys are doing PvP and wondering why you're losing, it's probably because of your skill levels. Work on that. I know it's kind of hard to get the materials. In the future, it will be easier to um, farm some skill materials, but for now, it's relatively hard. Um, with this character, I know a lot of people tell me to use her in, in Arena so that I can spawn or get more characters in game. But as you can see, I don't have a skill leveled um up so she's not going to be that useful i am trying to work on this character because she does heal as well as you can see with a special even though she doesn't do that special that much but with this as well be very very good so damage taking minus 15 as well will be also a must and now i know a lot of people are running the mech team now with titan i did get titan from the ticket i already told you guys even before titan became a thing i already said that the mech characters are going to be broken in pvp mainly the stuff that people run in mkr um, our mech characters um, so titan was definitely a must have as you can see because i don't use that many mech character it was actually quite kind of easy to um get him to six stars because i had loads of mech materials but there we go so if we go over to my characters actually look at the gear i have most of them tier 5 and the highest um, tier 4 stuff um my elizabeth pendragon i don't bother to level up her gear i should do that for this one over here actually I'm only going to level up the gear that has like blue rarity, the R rarity or the SR rarity. If they don't, I won't bother with it. Now, the reason why I don't want to level this up is because I'm going to take, take this off. Um, crit is not very important for this character. I think cooldown or attack will be the best way to go. Now, with this character, I want her to be tanky. So as you can see, I got some HP and some tank gear. So PvP meta character over here, she shines so much. So I'm happy I bought the pack where I could get her. And as you can see, I got her all the way to level 5 with her skills, except for her normal chain. But I will do that later on. But my MVP character in PvP is this chick. Next up, we got Yangarim. Most of the gear are tier 5, or actually all of them are. And some of them are like um, SSR, so that is nice. Obviously, I still need to work on the sub stats. Um, I haven't really focused on that right now. I think later on, as you progress further, working on the sub stats would be better. Now, as you can see, attack and crit. And then anti sniper damage, this isn't what you want for her. So, if you actually wanted to change this, you would go over to gear tuning and then you would have to wait, change it. Oh, I didn't even do, I haven't done this as well. Okay, when I want to change this, but as you can see, I can change options, crit will be changed. Um, so, since this is a defense, I'm going to try and change this actually. Let's see, what is this to speed? Okay, I guess speed. Uh, let's try and change it again. Anti Ranger, nope. Anti Ranger damage. Yikes. Okay, I guess that's what we're just gonna stick with. Yeah, we're gonna stick with that. <laughs> Thank you. Go over to position. Level this up. Thank you. 
I probably should have spread it out with all my characters, but that's fine. Um, there we go with my gear for characters. There we go. See my mech. Look at that. All tier five with like um, SR rarity. That is nice. I do need to level up his um, skills. He's not ready for PvP at this moment. Tier two, uh, level two for his skills isn't that high. So let's go over to skill books. I did exchange some materials, so that's gonna be perfect. Which one should I work on? I guess not this one. Wait, permanently immune to hit stun. Oh, that's actually beautiful. Um, cooldown damage, skill haste. Where's skill haste? And then tier five, level five. Okay, we we'll go with this. We'll at least try and get it all to level three. That's fine. Um, is there one more character I actually want to work on with terms of his skills? Um, Irene Ilford, all level tier. Okay, level three, that's fine. Uh, Ryan, I think, all level three and four. Okay, that's fine. Now, I actually haven't been farming some tier five gear. So, if you take a look at my crafting, I don't have any tier five molds. Oh, I do have like two, but it's fine. I'll do it now. All I've been doing right now is just uh, farming the event stages, but. I might need to switch it up now and go over to farming some tier 5 gear a lot of people have been crafting some tier 3 and tier 4 gear as well i mean i could use the tier 3 gear for fodder and uh, to level up some of my gears so i guess i'll do that and especially the fact we have like 42 damn that's a lot yeah i'm going to use that just for fodder to level up my character's um gear so we're going to do that wait wait hold up good i don't want to make a mistake Play this stuff. I mean, it's taking a lot of gold, so I guess it's not really an optimized decision to make um, crafting some tier 3 gear, but that is fine. So, gear announcement and gear tuning, that's fine. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. It is crafting, yes. So, we press that and we go over to supplies, and this is what we want to do. Thank you. Um, is there one more I want to do? Event stuff? No, we don't have any ATP core. To be honest, I don't really recommend this unless you have a lot, but right now you don't have a lot, so that's pointless. But anyways, that is technically what I want to cover in today's video. I do have a lot of other stuff I could work on. Damn, I have a lot of ATP core for soldier characters. Um, Yeah, I'm going to make a video going over characters I will summon for personally. Hopefully you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more content on Counter-Side. It's been your boy AC Gamer, and I'm out.